I learned to weld from John Esposito at Espo Resto. I also learned from my own experiences that seam sealer works great to hide the tiny imperfections in my welding. I just finished the process of cutting out all the nasty, rusty metal in my car and replacing it with newer, shinier metal from Vince. Doesn't seem familiar? Check out this episode. Let me show you my welding journey. up at 5 30 these past couple weeks so I could get this stuff done because um, there's a lot of homework and classwork and after school programs so this is the best time to get stuff done and I've, I've been getting a lot of stuff done I had to cut this whole piece out because the previous owners this wasn't even there this piece was gone so we had to get a new piece that's why we had handles on our engine bay because they didn't have this piece Look, I welded this whole thing. I'm so proud of that, actually. That is the last piece I need to fit in. So now I'm going to sharpie it over and grind it, and sharpie it and grind it, and hammer it until it's finally fit. And then we can weld. Oh yeah, I'm so ready. I hope, I think. So the reason why this was cut out is because the old or, or own, the previous owners of this car had cut it out so they could make room for the batteries. They put ginormous batteries. If you haven't seen those ginormous batteries, they're crazy. Anyway, so they cut off like this whole top part. So from like here up, they cut it all off just so they could fit like two racks of batteries. It's so hot, that's why I have this like cooling scarf. I want it at like a raffle. <laughs> I will see you guys at 5.30 in the morning for welding. I never thought it was important to make the area comfortable for myself, but I found out that it actually was important because I tried welding and I couldn't put my hands anywhere, so it was super unsteady and like wobbly. But then we put down these two wood beams, basically so I can rest my arms and keep the weld steady. It's really helpful because now I don't get little sparks in my leg. We are working on putting the seam sealer into the passenger side H hole. So I already put on the acetone and the rust fix, so to clean and to prevent rust on the bare metal after I welded it. And so now we're working to make that side look like this side by putting on the 
gloopy seam sealer and then we have to put on the primer. Up next, I have to wait for the uh, seam sealer to dry and then spray on the primer. Now I have to get ready for school. So now as the final step, now as the final step, I have to put on this self-etching primer. Mic drop, screwdriver drop, yeah. All right, this is the jack, and look at how cool it looks. This is the way it fitted. So I wanna restore this jack. Is, does anyone know how to do that? Is that easy, or is it like a lot of steps, really difficult? But it's still a really cool jack. Look at that, look at that, mm -hmm. look at that. So I guess I need to get these leather rubber straps that go here so I can put the jacket on. 